Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know. But what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. Thanks. Ada, you and Amir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. Uh, I see. We'll need to address that too. Ada, Amir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. Sam, get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight and we, we don't have much diesel left. Well, if we had enough diesel, the Aurora wouldn't be needing any help. How so? Its firebox was originally designed for taking coal, but it also has high-temperature lining and liquid fuel jets installed. Why didn't you say so before? Because you never asked. Is the injection system in working order? I would need to check it. Well, take crest and run the checks. Oh, yeah, we'll take care of it, chick chuck no problem, but uh, that ain't giving us no diesel. Hmm. Judging how the locals drive around, it will be much easier to get our hands on diesel than coal around here. Uh, what about the water? Can't run without it, but our tanks are dry. Let's handle problems in the order of their appearance. All right, let's go check those fuel sprinklers now. I bet you only need cleaning or something. Let's go. All clear. So, how'd you find the premises, idiot? Looks like it used to house a ticket office and lockers. 
full of garbage now. Could use some cleaning. Damn, the sun is having a ball today. Okay, set up the perimeter. You, get to the back of the train. Idiot, you get the engine. I'll clean the place up, and then we'll bring Step on. It's cooler than in the train. Your word is law, my liege. Shall I commence now? <laughs> commence! Okay, I'd be off then. Alyosha's trying too hard. Is he overheating? Too much sun, perhaps? We're all overheating here. I'll relieve him once we get step on here. Yeah, we'll handle that. Well, I'm off too. Artyom, we can handle it here. This one is fine, like it was cleaned yesterday. That's great. Move on to the next one. Are you going out? Look here, then. This is something I finished just now. Well, I hollowed out a couple of T-Hard bullets and filled them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Now, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly, with all the sand around. Mm, Artyom! <coughs> Wait, I'm coming with you. I think I could use a little walk right now. Stopa, you can hardly walk. You'd better rest while it's not your shift. Well, Artyom, I really do feel kind of under the weather now. Maybe next time. You're right. Artyom and Demir are going out for a simple recon, not a fight. And what if they get attacked? Then they'll retreat back to base where you and Sam cover them. So you should rest now. Yes. You're right, Katya.
You made a mistake coming here. I surrender! There's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. No, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. In my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. Uh, I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya!
anymore. Feeling weak. Thank <laughs> you. 
for nothing. There's no way to get her. Fair the bitch of... Should have brought snipers. We can't even reach her with our guns. people into slaves. Wanted to put me in shackles too. <laughs> Better death. Read you loud and clear. Your man helped me. I mean you're dead, but why are you here? For five years nobody would come here save for Munai by Lair. There used to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for mom's traces, but found nothing. Abandoned? Jewel, we helped you. So could you help us in return by leaving our man inside? Good. I will help. Artyom, you have to find the archive. You should be near the command center. Look for shots taken after the war, starting with the year 2013. The Mir will soon be there. You can count on him. Mir, over and out. If we go, we better go now, before more of them arrive. Use the workbench if you need to fix something. There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart, but you do not have a choice. Before war, this place was beautiful. See, I was five then. My mom was young. Alive. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks. And the people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed even though the sea dried out. Old people died. Only the young remained. And they all obey their masters now. The Munai by Lair say they're gods of fire now. And the young believe. Five years after the war, my mother died. 
I was all alone. the door, so I've been there. But I never went deep. There are spiders. <laughs> See the passage? You go through. I'll follow. I'll be thankful to you as long as I live. 